All right, everybody, it's a farewell to London. Today we are headed to Paris. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to get from London to Paris on the Eurostar train. It's probably the simplest and easiest way to get from city to city. So stay tuned and we'll show you all about it. Welcome to Paris. <laughs> all right, the train is quick but we're not quite there yet. So let's start off with the basics. First, we recommend downloading the Eurostar app. This is where you can purchase your tickets and get a lot of great information. Once you're on the app, you can choose your destination. So we're going from London St. Pancras to Paris Garden Nord. Pick your date, and then the next thing you need to do is add how many travelers will be traveling. So in our case, two adults and two children. And then you can go back and choose your trains. There's other great information such as the link at the top that can tell you about your travel documents needed. So in our case as non-UK citizens, if we click on that link, it'll tell us that basically we just need passports to travel. So there's a lot of great information on this app that you can navigate through and around. Now as you head back to the main page, you can select choose your train. Now the important thing on the Eurostar, there are three classes of service. The first class, which you see here in yellow, is standard, which gives you two pieces of luggage, regular seats, and the option to purchase snacks. Standard Premier is the next class up, which gives you spacious seats and a hot meal with wine. And the highest class is Business Premier, which gives you a third bag of luggage, no change fees, and also a hot meal, but included with champagne. Now keep in mind, we actually had wine included with our meal. All right, now once you're back to the main page, you simply click on the time and the class of ticket that you would like and then the next thing it's going to do is basically ask you for your payment and traveler information. And like I mentioned when booking any travel, the earlier you book, the cheaper the tickets usually are. Now we recommend, if able, to book the middle class which is Standard Premier. When we booked our tickets, there was actually only about an 18 pound difference between Standard and Standard Premier. Now we highly recommend Standard Premier if you can make it work because we enjoyed those extra large seats. We also had a little table in between us and we got the meal with wine included. And this made for an overall great experience, we thought. Once you purchase your tickets, it will save your tickets on the app. And this is what you can use when you check in at the train station. So that's about it for the Eurostar app and booking your tickets from London to Paris. Another advantage of the Eurostar is the trains depart and arrive in the city centers. And the trip only takes about 2 hours and 20 minutes at speeds up to 180 miles per hour. And there's some great scenery along the way. And most importantly, it's another fun adventure. So here we are at the train station. Now Eurostar recommends you check in 45 minutes prior to departure. So we recommend getting to the train station at least an hour and a half prior to departure so you can wait in this line. So we're in the line from London to Paris and you want to get here with plenty of time. Check out the lines behind me. Also of note, make sure you get in the right line. The line to Paris is in the international line. There's always people there to help you. This line took us about 35 minutes to get to the check-in point where they scanned our tickets on the Eurostar app and counted our bags. We were allowed two bags and a small carry-on. We also had to put our luggage through scanners like you do at most airports. Now once we were through the security and check-in line, we then had to go through a customs line where they checked our passports and travel documents. But I wasn't allowed to film any of that. So we just made it through the Eurostar customs and security and it took about 35 minutes. It actually went pretty well. The security line, like you saw, was super long. But then after security, we scanned our boarding passes and then they scanned our luggage and then we showed our passports and we were through. And we got our passports stamped by the French border police. So now technically I think we're in France. Now we're just waiting here for our platform to take us upstairs to our Eurostar train and then soon enough we'll be in Paris. While you're waiting for your platform, there is a small cafe where you can buy food and snacks. Can you get me a sandwich, please? And they also sell drinks, candy, beer, and wine. But we honestly didn't have to wait that long. And before you knew it, they announced our train platform and it was time to head upstairs with the big crowd and find our coach number and get on the train. Coolest view. Look at that. Parker, lead us to coach two. As you can see, the train is quite large, so it's important to note which coach you're in, which is on your ticket. Standard Premier and Business Premier coaches are usually the lower number coaches up near the front. Are you excited? I am. 
This is such a cool train station too. It's so pretty. Here's a travel tip. We recommend you get on your coach as soon as possible for two reasons. First off, the train will not wait for you and it will leave you if you're not on it. And second, the racks which you put your luggage on fill up quite quickly because they are first come first serve. But luckily there was space above our seats and our bags fit in those racks just barely. So as you can see here, the racks get quite full. We eventually found our seats and got our bags put away and before we knew it, we were rolling and off to Paris. So here are the accommodations in Standard Premier. As you can see, we have large seats and a table between us and we're sitting lounge style, which was actually quite comfortable. So the upgrade was definitely worth it, whereas the seats we saw in the Standard Coaches either did not have a large table in between you or they were forward facing like airline seats. And before we knew it, it was lunchtime, which was actually really good. Let's check it out. We got a pretty large meal with chicken, rice, veggies, bread, and a biscuit and jelly. The kids got sodas, and the meal even included wine for Brooke and I. After our meal, we relaxed for a bit and enjoyed the scenery going by. Of note, the train does have pretty good Wi-Fi. We were all able to connect. But eventually, the kids began to get a little restless, so we decided to go explore the train a bit. And we just got done eating a great meal, and Parker wants to go explore, so what do you want to do? I want to go to the cafe on the train. <laughs> Alright, there is a cafe on the train, so let's go. Alright, so we are trying to go to the cafe on the train, but we are in coach 2, and the cafe is in coach 9. So we have to make our way up there, but the aisles are only big enough for one person, and waitress is serving everybody right now in the coach ahead of us so we have to wait wait <laughs> and here's the bathroom though right there so while we wait let's check out the bathroom oh. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> that is not the cafe dude this is the bathroom go in go. i thought we were going to the cafe <laughs> As you can see, the bathroom was actually quite large and accommodating. All right, the aisle is cleared up, so we made a run for it. It was actually a little bit challenging because as the train was moving back and forth, we had to be careful not to bump into people sitting in their seats. <laughs> What's funny? What? Parker goes right. <laughs> Did you almost fall on somebody? Yeah. <laughs> Which one are we in? We're in five. Three more. So as we pass through this coach, you can see the standard class seating. The seats are a little bit smaller and mostly face one direction. And the tables in between are definitely not as large as the ones we had. And these guys did not get a meal included. <laughs> that one was a bad one. I almost fell. That one was bad. I almost fell. Wow. Did you see him? And then okay, I this is eight. It's right in there. Here we go. Wait, I see him. <laughs> the cafe had a large variety of snacks, candy, sandwiches, drinks, beer, and wine. All right, that was a long walk. I completely almost fell on that. All right, all right, we made it to the cafe and the train, but that was kind of a bumpy walk. Oh yeah. How many people did you fall on? Three. Three. I almost fell on somebody too. <laughs> And now we have to go back. Yeah, what do we get? M and M's. What are those? What are they called though? Choco Lonely. Oh, they're Choco Lonely's because mom is lonely by herself. Now we have to head back all the way we came. But as you can see, we actually had a lot of fun walking to and from the cafe and exploring other parts of the train. The mama. Gotta forget. Alright, there's our loot from the cafe. We just had a meal, but Parker is still hungry, so he got a whole nother bag in. He got some m and and Kenzie, what did you get? We need another. I got her some lonely chocolate because she's super lonely. <laughs> but that was a fun adventure up to 
the Cafe Metropole on the Eurostar. And all of this was 11 euro, by the way. Oh, and we almost fell on like 80 people. Yeah, we almost fell on a bunch of people because the train was moving and their aisle was pretty narrow. <laughs> After relaxing for a little while longer, before we knew it, our ride on the Eurostar and our trip was about to end. But our next adventure is about to begin. Welcome to Paris. <laughs> And just like that, two and a half hours later, we're in Paris. Yeah. <laughs> Exiting the train was simple, we just walked right into the train station. There was no security or customs because we already went through all that back in London. Bienvenue à Paris. Oui, oui, we are in Paris. How was the train ride? It was awesome. Actually, it was so much shorter than I thought. It went by really fast. Did you think it was cool? Yeah. We're here. Two and a half hours later, we're in another country. All right, that's it for our train ride to Paris, but now we've got to catch an Uber to our hotel. So let's right. figure out where to How do that. To do that, and guess what? And we're what at is uh, today. Uh, today is Bastille Day in Paris, so yeah. there's a big festival tonight. We're gonna hopefully catch some of the festivities, parade, and fireworks. So we need to head downtown and catch an Uber to our hotel. The train station and ride outside are quite busy. You're right in the heart of Paris, so be sure, as always, to watch your belongings. As you cross the street, we recommend taking a look back over your shoulder at the Paris Gare du Nord station. It's quite beautiful and the architecture is amazing. We decided not to take a cab outside the train station and to look for a cheaper Uber instead. All right, here's a little travel tip. When you get to the train station, get away from the train station to try and catch an Uber. There's a lot of taxis that are really expensive. Just walk a block or two away and try to catch an Uber outside of the train station. It'll be a little cheaper and easier to catch. All right, welcome to our Uber van. We're Uber cool. <laughs> All right, so in London at the Hard Rock, we had a pretty big suite and we were very spoiled. But here in France, the hotel rooms are a little smaller. And right now we are in an Uber van in our hotel room. I'm trying to explain to the kids. It's going to be about this big. He's fine. Oh, he's so high. So, how many so square feet are we talking about? Um, 269 <laughs> square what? feet. That's it. Our normal hotel room is about 500 square feet. So, my college dorm, first one, was 500 square feet. So, yes, and about it's not too. Are there going to be bunk beds? <laughs> so, our room here in Paris is going to be about the size of our bathroom in London. Oh, my God. And Parker's sleeping in the bathtub. <laughs> All jokes aside, we actually found a pretty decent hotel near the Arc de Triomphe. So definitely check out our video on the Hotel Montfleury, which we are arriving at right now. All right, silly kids, it's time to wrap this one up. It was a fun adventure on the Eurostar train. Be sure to stay tuned for our upcoming adventures in Paris. Well, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Also, check out our other videos on YouTube, and if you have any feedback, please comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more American Travel Family Adventures. Paris in the summer is my thing.